Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a puzzle that I got from my friend. There are two reasons I chose this puzzle today. The first one is because this is the last out of the three puzzles I got from a friend of mine. And once I finish this one, I'm going to give all three back to him, which means he's going to free up some space in my wardrobe, which is something I definitely need because there's chaos in there. And then the second reason is because it seems like it's going to be quite an easy puzzle. I mean, at first I thought it's going to be quite difficult because it's got a lot of like single colored section. But then once I opened the box, I realized that the pieces are shaped quite uniquely inside. So I think it's going to be easy to know what fits together, hopefully. After mischief and puzzle puzzle, I just need like an easy puzzle so my brain can relax. I mean, I did a few easy puzzles in between, but I wasn't filming them. So it's a completely different experience because when you film a puzzle, you need to think about you know, the lighting and the camera angles and everything and like you've got time pressure on it and yeah, it's a completely different experience. You know, you can just open the puzzle board in front of TV and just, you know, put a few pieces in and then close it, put it away and you can do it for days. So I think with this one, it's going to be an easy video to record. Let me show you the puzzle now. <laughs> It's a thousand piece puzzle from Schmidt and the title is Movies Forever. It goes under Renato Cassaro Classics collection and there's quite a lot more of them. Very loud. And there's a little section that it tells you about Renato Cassaro. It's really nice when you get to learn a little bit about the people that created art that was made into a puzzle. As you can see, this is recreation of Michelangelo's creation of Adam but instead of the original picture, he used movie stars to put in. The part that was actually worrying me is the background, because you can see it's very similar color. It's, it's got a little bit of gradient and then it's got cracked wall effect. And then the bottom section, I think this is a part of the puzzle as well. I'm not completely sure, but I think this is puzzle as well. It's part of the picture. So these are the parts that were worrying me a little bit because it's so much of like similar color. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it's time to just begin with the puzzle now. Sorry my phone died on me, but I finished the sorting and I think I've done quite well. I mean, there's slight color difference between the white ones. So I've got like anything that's got letters in it, then I've got like whitey and then I've got pinky and then light blue and a bit darker blue. And then obviously the skin color, the red, the blue, the brown, and then all the lines. But I think I'm missing quite a lot of pieces there because the pile is not that big. I think it should be bigger. There's so much puzzle dust. I'm not used to that with used puzzles. So it seems like this one has only been maybe done once. So I had to clean the board up a bit because otherwise it would just go all over my bed. So now that it's clean, I'm ready to do the frame and start assembly. The frame is complete. It was very quick. It only took me 20 minutes and there was no misfit. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's quite a nice surprise you know after mischief puzzle so yeah it was really easy to know which pieces fall together because of the specific shapes so there's like a lot of curved lines and you know cut in diagonal and stuff like that which really helps and yeah there's just one piece missing and i honestly hope that it's just me being bad at sorting and it's not the actual piece missing in the puzzle so fingers crossed <laughs> they pops out once they start putting the puzzle together. This puzzle is actually so simple. I've been working on it for an hour without including the sorting. 
and I'm already I think like quarter way through it seems like it's gonna be a quick one but I don't want to say too quickly because you never know it can get more complicated it's so easy to distinguish the difference between the color with the lighter pieces I didn't even get one wrong like I managed to find all of the ones to complete the bottom I'm gonna do the top line now which I think is just one row of puzzles so it should be quite quick I think when the puzzle is done in a way that it like separates certain parts of the puzzle it makes it a lot easier to complete because now the middle picture is not through the entire thousand pieces but it's maybe only like through 700 or 600 which obviously makes it easier because it's almost like putting a smaller puzzle together. What's really good about the top line is just about on the edge of the piece you can see the line going through which makes it a lot easier to eliminate the pieces that belong to the top line and then also it helps you with the direction that they're turned in maybe i said it too quickly when i said that this puzzle is really simple but i actually managed to get my first misfit and i'm really confused right now because it seems like half of the puzzle is fitting in properly and half of the puzzle is not fitting in properly so I have to figure this thing out now okay I get it there was just one piece in the wrong place so everything is sorted now and we can move on with the puzzle The way the puzzle started was actually really simple but once I started doing the red bit I thought it's gonna be a lot easier because obviously it's such a bright color and you know that it's like concentrated in one area but it's got so many different elements so many different faces in it it was a lot harder than I actually thought it's gonna be in the beginning it was really hard I really struggled with where to even begin It's been nearly two and a half hours and I'm just over half of the puzzle I think so if I'm continuing with this speed I think I should be able to finish in about four four and a half hours which is good timing for a thousand piece puzzle for me anyway it's interesting because people on the puzzle are actually the hardest to put together which is not what I expected I really thought that the background is gonna be the hard part of this puzzle but so far it seems like it's the opposite, <laughs> so maybe once I finish all the people the background is gonna flow nicely Well, I hope that anyway I might get stuck, you never know, but I mean so far it's still good, it's not a hard puzzle, it's very enjoyable I love how the pieces are shaped, like it's just so easy I'm nearly finished with the puzzle all I've got left to do is the background now and the good thing about it is that you can actually see the slight difference between the colors of the background so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sort them by color first and then I'm gonna sort them by shape so it's gonna make my life a lot easier and then I hope that I can manage to just do it in one go I'm not sure how much camera is gonna pick up but you can slightly see the difference in the color so it goes like from pinky to a bit of yellowy and then we've got like bluish I can't believe that there's still more puzzle dust coming like I'm nearly finished with the puzzle and there's still more of it but it's okay because at least we know now that the puzzle is gonna be free from puzzle dust
I just finished the puzzle and it took me four and a half hours in total, including the sorting, which is normally about half an hour. I think four hours to putting a thousand piece puzzle together is quite a good time. This is actually the first time I timed myself, so I got the exact time of me putting the puzzle together. I always just got like a rough number of hours that I spend on the puzzle, but now I know exactly. And I think that's really good because now I'm gonna be able to know how much time I spend on each puzzle, and then when I do sorting by difficulty that's gonna help me as well because I'm gonna know exactly how much time I spend on each puzzle. The puzzle is really nice, it was really satisfying to put together, it actually held together quite well but then I tried to lift it up and well <laughs> it sort of failed the pickup test, I mean I lifted it up but then on the way down it broke a little bit but it's okay, that doesn't reduce the puzzle quality, the quality is really good, it's one of the more satisfying puzzles I've done. As I mentioned earlier, this was the last out of the three puzzles I got from my friend. One of the puzzles as well was this one. Also a thousand piece puzzle, this one was really enjoyable to put together. And then the prettiest one that I absolutely love is this panoramic puzzle from High Puzzle. Also a thousand piece puzzle. This one is definitely the prettiest out of the three, but I'm not gonna lie, it was quite hard to put together, but very satisfying when I finished it because of all the colours, they just looked absolutely amazing. So if you wanna see me put this puzzle together, just watch this video up next. Bye!